All right, we're recording now. Good. Um, so I said before, I just put in the chat the direct link to the Nearpod. Um, or if you can't get in through the direct link, if you go to join.nearpod.com and then put in the, the code there, you will be able to, uh, to get in. So, all right, uh, we're recording. Let me screen share real quick. So you have that. And uh, what we're going to be talking about today is we're actually going to be talking about credit um, and ways to use credit um, and all of that. So uh, for those of you who just came in, I uh, let me just put another real quick, the direct link into the chat. So you can jump on the near pod here um, and you can kind of follow along as we're going. Okay, so first off, um, just so you know, this session will be recorded, uh, as always. I don't think there's too much more I got to say about that one. Uh, we've had enough lessons. You should know the the expectations. Just follow along. Um, there, you need to see something in the chat. I can't don't see it. Just raise your hand so I know. Um, answer the questions in the near pod. If you have to leave, just private message me and just say, hey, I've got to take off for a second so I know you're there. Then also use the chat appropriately it would be great. <clears throat> okay, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to go over the following things today. Uh, one is, what is credit? So we're going to talk about that. Um, does credit cost? And really that's answered depending on how smart you are. And um, <clears throat> what is the advantages of using credit? And what happens if you misuse credit? Um, and anybody that really kind of wants to buy a house or anything like that, you're going to need to have some type of credit um, around, okay? All right, so uh, credit, it's a legal agreement to receive cash or goods or services now, and what you're going to do is you're going to pay them in the future. Um, so you're going to put them, you know, you buy a car, you buy it on credit. You use a credit card, you're buying on credit. Um, just a couple things about credit. Uh, credit has a history over a hundred of years. Um, in the 1960s, uh, reported only negative financial information. So if, uh, if you were defaulting and not paying, they would definitely report that, but they actually wouldn't report good stuff that you did, right? So in 1971, um, they have an act called the Fair Reporting Act. And so if somebody negatively put something in about you, about your credit, and it wasn't true, you can submit and they have to prove that you didn't do it or they have to erase it from your activity. Um, so that's just something that you need to know, especially if you get into a case of somebody stole your credit card, they're using it in Thailand, and they bought a bunch of TVs. Um, I have had that happen before. <laughs> and so I just disputed it. Um, and using a credit card, they were able to, to get the money back. But if you use a debit card, it might not happen. So I would, when we talk about reasons for using credit, that would be a reason for definitely using credit is just that liability clause in there. Um, so this is kind of interesting. The average credit card balance, and this was nine years ago, so I'm sure it's gone up, <coughs> in the United States was, and from 2011, was $6,576 people had on a credit card. Now, if you don't pay that off each month, it's going to cost you a lot of money, right? Um, average in Utah was 5816 and so people, unfortunately, are living outside their means and they uh, use credit cards unwisely. And so if you if you know how to use them correctly, it can be a really good advantage. But if you use it to as like your emergency fund, not very good. OK, and you're going to get racked up and it's going to cost you three, four, five times the amount it actually would if you would have just saved for what you need. OK. All right, so um, 
what we're going to do, we're going to watch this little video that tells a little bit about credit and why we need it. And uh, then we'll move on from there.
All right. So that was kind of a lot of information there, but it really gives an overview of what all we're going to talk about. Um, that basically the more diversified you are, the more credit people will give you. Um, and if uh, most people, and I'm not saying everybody, but most people will have to go in their first vehicle, they'll have to get a loan on that, right? Um, Rachel was telling me that she has a credit card, um, which isn't a bad thing. Um, she has a credit card and she uses it to pay for gas and she pays it off each month. And by doing that, she develops a history, um, a credit history. And as she makes timely payments on it, um, the creditors, the people that are lending the credit, uh, are able to see that you can repay those things back and they'll up your limits and you'll be able to buy bigger things. Um, and then when you get a better job, so forth um and you look for most people as well have to take out a mortgage to pay for their um uh their home so uh here's a couple things a couple types of credit we got credit cards installment loans um service credit revolving credit student loans um iou single payment credit okay um so that's just a couple but there's a lot out there and you probably see them all the time Okay, so I want you to, um, on the chat here, it says, what is something you believe you should use credit for? Okay, we've talked about this a little bit, but if you want to put in there and just share your thoughts and post. Okay, a car, very good. Yep, a car. Um, loans, loans is a type of credit, okay? So you'd want something that you buy with the loan, right? So think about that. Uh, something you really need. Um, essentials in life. Okay, good. A car, a house, good. Um, what about credit cards? Because Rachel talked about that's using credit. She uses for gas. Should you use credit cards for gas, do you think? Or for just everyday purchases? Okay, food stuff you may need okay college okay yep student loans um student loans i think are the last thing that i usually go to but um but yeah definitely i've taken out some student loans before because i fell short in what i needed to pay um i think you can use credit for for quite a few things, right? As long as, and I actually use it for most of my, my purchases, actually credit cards, um, but I make sure that I have budgeted, that I have money in the bank to pay it off each month. What people get in trouble with, right, is they do not have the money in the bank and so then they put it on their credit cards and then it starts building up and then you have to pay interest on that. Okay, so somebody says uh, essentials to life and a proper schooling system. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, so if you have money in the bank, why would you use credit cards? Very good um, question there. So there's a couple reasons why I use credit cards when I have the money already sitting in the bank. Um, one is uh, if somebody were to, if I, because usually you'd use some type of card, right? A debit card. A debit card is taken directly from your bank account. I don't use debit cards. And let me tell you why. So I don't use debit cards because of identity theft. People can get your cards really easily um, you put it online you do things like that you make a payment and somebody takes it from there if it's taken out of your bank account you can't get that money back a lot of times so you have to fight with the bank to get it back on a debit card on a credit card you just tell the credit card company hey i did not make this purchase i am not paying for it and they will do the investigate get it work for you so 
that's the reason I use credit cards. But I only use spend what I have in the bank so then I can pay it off every time. The second portion of it is I get to develop credit, okay? When I I the the people that lend you credit, they say, you know, like if I wanted to buy a big purchase like a house, okay? So I've bought multiple houses through uh, my time. I've lived in them and sold them and that kind of stuff. And I would not be able to buy a house if I didn't develop credit. If I came in and I've never borrowed anything before, never had a credit card, never had a car loan, they would say, sorry, we don't know if you are going to pay this back. Even though you have a good job and that stuff, we cannot give this to you because we do not know your financial behavior. Okay. And so basically what you're doing is you're proving to them that you can be successful and smart with using a credit card. Okay. So hopefully that makes some sense there. Um, so you do get little credit by doing certain things. Okay. Um, when they're looking at things. So your bank accounts. Okay. Um, uh, just setting up a bank account will give you some uh, a little bit of credit. Okay. Employment history, history of residence. So if you live in a place for quite a while, they feel that you're stable enough that you can hold down a job, that kind of stuff. Utilities that you borrow in your name. So that's another way you develop credit. So if you have a phone and you put it in your name, then, then you can start developing credit there. Um, department store or gas car, okay? And that's what I'd kind of, you can look at some of those. Um, I just do like a regular credit card and, and work on there. Um, how to maintain a good credit rating. Um, you establish a good credit history by paying your bills and paying them on time, okay? Um, there is a minimum amount due, but if you only pay the minimum amount, everything after that will be hit with what's called interest and interest is uh you know it it basically is going to take a percentage of what you have and you have to pay more on top of that so instead of paying for something that's only worth 25 dollars, pretty soon if you don't pay it all off in that set amount of time you're going to be paying 28 dollars. and if you don't pay it off again you only pay the minimum amount then you're going to pay another three dollars towards it and it just builds up and snowballs from there okay so you really want to watch that um here it says use credit cards sparingly and stay within your limits so that's the biggest thing if you stay within your limits um you go there is that legal um is it legal meaning that they can charge you interest and the the answer is yes that's how they make money these people the, the lenders, they make money from you not paying off your card in time and charging you interest. So, and, and that's, yep, and that's, that's how, if you have money and you are a lender, that's how you're making, mo that's how you're making your money is you're getting interest off those for letting them borrow your money. So it, it's kind of like, hey, and when you buy a house, you're not really buying a house until you've paid it off completely. The bank owns the home and we're saying basically you're going to pay us this money, your mortgage each month. And for example, if I had a, a mortgage and you pay down that interest too, okay? Um, if you had a mortgage that was $1,000 a month, at the start of a 30-year loan, probably about 300 of that is going to go towards paying off the house and about 700 of it is going to go to bank the bank and other and to paying for other things in the house like insurance and that kind of stuff in what's called your escrow account so you're only paying off just a little tiny bit at a time okay um but as soon as you pay down that that principal more then the less interest they charge you um somebody this one says do not move balances to other cards depends on where you're at but i would say that's a typical thing not to do uh check your credit regularly okay so you want to make sure that as i said before people aren't getting a card in your name that kind of stuff um 
it becomes a mess, the identity theft thing. The most common forms of credit, you got credit cards, they're plastic cards, electronic cards. I'm sure you're aware of it. My wife's very familiar with it. <laughs> um, student loans, we talked a little bit about student loans. Um, they assist in help paying for professional education. Um, these loans are usually uh, charge a lower interest rate um, and allows a person to get an education so you can get a better job and therefore be able to, to pay those back and, and make a better living overall. Debit cards, I talked about that. Um, you can get some credit by those, but you, as I said, be careful with those as well because they directly come out of your checking account and you want to make sure that you have enough money in there for one and two, that you're not, um, that nobody gets that, that, that card. Okay, so risks of credit. It is very, very easy to overspend on credit. Okay, um, when you're using like a, a debit card, right? Uh, you know you only have so much in the bank, right? And you really have to watch it. When you have a credit card, you're like, oh, it adds up to somewhat of this amount. And so you're like, okay. And then you look at it and you're like, wow, I spent $200 there. And I didn't realize that. I thought I only spent about 100 And so you can really add up overspending. Um, if you have issues with spending, you need to learn to control that spending first before you go get a credit card. So I would do something called an envelope system where you get all your money that you're budgeting for the month, put it in that envelope. And then you only pay cash for things until you get that out, until you can learn to control your habits um, on their interest. We already talked about that. And then identity theft. Um, I want to be careful there. So the responsibilities of credit, um, you need to know the real cost of debt. And as I said before, if you're putting things on credit that you cannot pay for already, no, you're probably going to pay almost twice as much as what it actually costs. Okay, so it's better to wait and save. Make sure you have that money before you make the purchase. Okay, uh, do you need, do not use credit uh, beyond your means. That's why the the average credit card limit so high for people is they they go beyond their means and they put it on credit, which is not good. Um, it's all about the details, right? Uh, read the fine print. Not all credit cards are the same. Interest rates are different, so make sure you know what you're getting into. Um, pay as much as you can as early as you can. And I said, really use a credit card to pay it all off is what I would do. You, you use it and then you just pay it all off each month. Okay, so there's always some advantages and disadvantages. Um, Advantages are convenient. It's immediate. You do not need cash. You have zero liability on fraud, which is said that's a huge one for me since I have people have gotten hold of my credit cards before and you know they're doing things and I just call up the credit card come and say that wasn't me and they say okay and they refund it to me and then they're the ones trying to figure out who did it. Um, helps on the reservation. You can get some bonus points towards it. I got travel rewards towards my card card so um, that is you know some some kind of benefit if you're if you're responsible um, disadvantage it's a loan okay you can hit interest rates some cards charge fees like a fifty dollar a hundred dollar fee each year for just having the card so you want to watch that it's so so easy to overspend um, it can pr promote impulse purchases so if you do not have your spending under control. Really got to watch having a, a credit card, okay? Uh, risk of identity theft because you're shopping online, but that's the nature of the beast the, to these year, um, these days. You got to shop online. And then you are responsible if something gets lost, okay? Especially with a debit card. Okay, that is it. What you are, you need to do this week, I'm just going to jump into the, the course thing is we have modules 11 and 12. Um, I have not marked nine and 10 off, but I'm gonna zero those out today. So if you don't have modules nine and 10 done, make sure you get those done. 11 and 12, get those done. 
um, by Friday and I'll start zeroing everything out. And uh, if no other questions, I will see you this, uh, this next week. So thanks everybody for coming. I'm here to answer any questions.